What's happening? Winston Davis here with Move Up and coming at you with a, another video in our series here on YouTube with how to improve your stick rate. How do you improve when you hire a mover or a driver for him to stay for at least a month or more? So that stick rate is when you first give them a job offer to their first month and how do we get people so that way they're not ghosting us their first day of work or the, the third day of work, first week, and retain, retaining people on the very front end of their tenure with the company. So if you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Maybe Brett will plug it right here for us and give us a like on this video. We do these every single week for free, okay? I take, I take time, I plan these out, I record these, and I'm just doing it for you guys. I'm just doing it for you all so that way Maybe you can get where you're going a little faster. Maybe you can get your to your goal instead of five years. Maybe it only takes three and a half. Um, there's a lot of work in this business. There's a lot of work in any business. And from personal experience, I have found a lot of value in learning from other people. I've paid a lot of money to learn stuff from other people. And so uh, I'm not charging anything here. This is just... I'm giving you a gift. I want to say appreciate everybody that watches um, our content and our videos. Anybody that you know stays with us and and is subscribed and, and, and has been a follower, we really appreciate you. You know we do a ton of work and we're just getting started. We're just getting started. So let's jump in. We talked about this is our third video in the series. So video one, if you haven't watched it, go watch them. Uh, the powerful offer call. Okay, that's a super super important video to watch. Then the next video was about how to improve people showing up for their first day of work. Okay, that's super important. Watch that one. Then we're coming to video three, which is here today. Today's video is about how do I make the new hire's first day super exciting? Okay, how do I make their first day memorable? How do I make their first day so that way they wanna come back on day two and stick around with us? So I'm going to give you some do's and some don'ts, all right? Some do's and don'ts. All right, let's start with the don'ts, all right? Don't do these. Don't sit the person down and have them do classroom stuff for hours. I get there's some paperwork. You got to do a little bit of paperwork. I get there's some training, but don't just stick them in front of a, a, in, in, at a desk and have them watch videos or have them sit you know, in an orientation with five other guys and listen to somebody talk for six hours. Nobody wants to do that. And I don't even recommend doing that for an hour at the beginning because again, nobody wants to do that. They didn't sign up for that, right? They wanna, they wanna go out and, and, and work, they wanna make money. So my recommendation is, is to not do too much paperwork, classroom, even just straight up training. You have them out in the warehouse and you have them out there for five, six hours, you gotta remember, they've, most people have never done moving. They don't know what they're doing. And so if you put them out there for five hours of training in the warehouse with you know, maybe a manager or a crew leader, their brain is gonna get overloaded. Most people have an attention span of about 10 to 15 minutes. If you put them out there for hours in the warehouse, pad wrap and learn how to pack box, dish packs and and, and, and have a tier and load and all this stuff, you do that all on day one, they're gonna be like, man, this is too much. And they're not gonna come back. My, my perspective, if you wanna retain people, when a guy gets started there and he starts working, he probably doesn't know anybody unless he was a referral. He doesn't know anybody yet. He didn't have any friends there yet. There's nothing holding and gluing that person to stay. So it's so important to make their first day and really their first week as exciting as possible. And what I, I, I personally like doing, so these are the do's, is one, you wanna make sure that when you get them in, you're not just jumping right into how to do the job, you're talking about big picture. Talk about the vision, talk, cast the vision. You can pull so much more out of people by using your words to cast a vision of where the business is and where it's going. And so make sure if it's the manager or if it's the owner, doesn't matter. It's a high verbal skills skill set. Somebody has to do it. Again, it, it can be done by the manager, but if the manager can't do it, the owner needs to be doing it until the manager can, in my opinion. 
right? Too many owners, you're cutting yourself out of the uh, out of the operations so fast and you're just leaving your managers behind and they know how to do day to day, but they don't have these high verbal skill sets yet. And these skill sets are what drive the growth in the business. So some of these things that you're gonna do to create excitement around the, the company and the vision is just walk the guy around, right? Show him all the trucks, man. Fire up on the trucks, have him sit in a truck. Like the guy maybe has never sat in a truck. I don't care if he has a driver's license or it, it, you know, it's 18 years old or what, doesn't mean he's driving off the lot. Just fire the truck up and let him sit in it, right? Ask him, hey, you ever sat in a, in a box, like a 26 foot box truck before? No, no, here, let me tell you about this thing, man. Go open up the, the, the freaking back and show him the whole box and show him all the different E-tracks and all the equipment in the truck. Show him that stuff, right? And be excited about it. Be excited about it, right? Because if you're excited, they'll be excited. But if you're just kind of going through the motions, like, yeah, man, boom, 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 they're not gonna care, right? So painting the picture, talk about where you came from. If you're the owner, man, I'd have that new hire and be like, man, let me tell you, dude, five years ago, see that truck way off in the back, back of the corner of the lot? Yeah, we don't use that truck a whole lot anymore, but that was the first one that we had. That was the first, first truck. That was, my, that was my baby. Man, I built this business on my freaking back. I built it from the bootstrap up. Used to be out on that truck every single day. Had a couple good guys. You know what? Those guys are still with me, right? They're managers here now. You're painting the picture. You're showing where you were. And you're showing them where you are now. And you're making the, the, the belief go up about them buying into you and your company and your vision. You're doing that maybe not all day, okay? But little points through the day, okay? There's going to be some training, but make the training exciting, right? Be like, hey, man. My best guy can pad wrap a dresser in 30 seconds or less, right? I don't, I don't even know if that's like legit, but you can say something fun like that. Make it competitive. Be like, you want to learn how to do that? You want to learn how to beat them, right? Sure. Yeah, man, I'm in, right? And, and you get them, you get them kind of psyched up. You get them involved, get them engaged. And so um, it's so important to make the first day exciting. Make it so that way they want to be there. They want to come back. Here's another tip. Introduce them to everybody. Start building little mini friendships for them. So if you're the manager or the owner, your job is to make sure you introduce them to everybody because if they just walk by your current guys, the new guy is going to feel like, man, nobody likes me here. Man, everybody, everybody's kind of everybody's kind of stuck up around here. But if you introduce them to each person, say, hey, Josh, come here, man. Let me introduce you to, to, our, to our newest team member, man. This is Ryan. Ryan just got hired on today. His first day, man. To give him a bit of advice. Tell him, tell him, give him some tips, right? And if you just do that, every, every time you kind of cross paths with somebody there at the warehouse or the office, you're building those relationships. Relationships are what keep people around. And so it's a, it's a psychological battle, all right? This isn't about do this, do this, do this, do this. I'm not giving you all the little micro steps here. I'm giving you a broad mindset of how you should look at somebody's first day. I'm trying to create excitement. I'm trying to introduce them to everybody, okay? I'm trying to cast the vision and show them where they can, what they can be a part of and where it's going. Um, you don't need a marathon. them. They don't need to be there for eight or 10 hours. Honestly, a full training day is, is generally a, a half a day of work, four, four or five hours. That's, they're gonna have so much stuff in their mind, they're, they're not gonna be able to, to, to handle too much more. Make, make it fun, make it exciting. You know, if you maybe, especially during the peak season, if it's like Friday or Saturday morning and, and maybe you like cook up some eggs and bacon and stuff, or you have some breakfast for the guys before they dispatch, have the guy come in first, you know, come in and see that, have them experience that. It's so valuable. You know, some other, other tips and advice I would give you is, you know, show, I would have in the office photos printed out of jobs that you've done. Hey man, let me show you this, let me show you this 7,000 square foot house that we moved a couple months back and start showing them some of the houses that you go to. That excites people. A lot of these guys never been in a house that big. Show them some of the work you've done. Hey, let me show you what, a, let me show you what, a really great pack job looks like, and you show them, you know, a couple really good photos of some tiers, right? You're showing them what what the expectation is, what's good, right? 
there's little things you can do that aren't just showing a guy how to wrap a chair or how to wrap a dresser or how to, you know, load the truck. Be creative in your training process and make the first day, again, make it memorable, make it exciting, all right? I know this was a longer video, but it's so important because more times than not, you have people show up the first day, but they don't come back or they don't come back after day two or after day three. And it's not, I'm, I'm just speaking out loud, it's not always because of the guy. You, we gotta look out on the inside, we gotta look at us, we gotta look at what type of environment we have. And if a guy doesn't even wanna come back for a second day of work, what's that tell you? What's that tell you? It must not have been that great. So um, we're gonna have one more video in this series. Be, uh, stay tuned, make sure you, you, you watch all the previous ones, again, Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notifications every time we send a video out. So valuable. And can't wait to see you on the next one. Peace.